there, guys. What is going on? Sloppy here, playing some more Creative Us Adventures. And today we take set on what? Attica <laughs> Zoo Park. Um, here you can find all of the creatures. Uh, this is something I'm kind of excited for. This is my first um, adventure playing with uh, the Codex. Yeah, I guess they don't. I, I knew it didn't work in adventures, but I just wasn't sure what would be there. Anyway, a zoo park. Um, kind of a cool little entryway. Ooh, that leg. Kind of a cool little entryway. I like when people do, like, a little entryway from your portal, you know? Kyo, kyo, kyo! Welcome to Attica Zoo Park. Feel free to explore all the creatures in one amazing park. Enjoy. Alright! Um, feel free to use that for whatever you do. That could be your answering machine message. Well, this is nice. I like the, uh, the wall. Just using those stone fences. Got some Grum's Temple Garden. Kind of nice. It's compact, which is cool. I don't like that the cages are open, but, you know, it is what it is. Warm worm. Those aren't showing up at all. Hmm. I think the adventures may have been broken with this uh, newest update, because they're not showing up the checkpoints at all, unless these are for a different adventure or something. So we got some stuff over there. Anyway, um, kind of a lovely area. I like how it's laid out. It kind of feels like an actual zoo. Where there's, you know, these clean sort of landscapes. And, uh, you know, just these big plateaus and stuff where they sell you garbage. Anyway, uh, night creatures, arctic creatures. Well, let's just finish looking. Oh, look at him with his little... Look at him with his little potty hat. He just wants to potty. Hello, keepers. <clears throat> uh, leafy creatures. Corrupted creatures. Oh, I like these little entryways. I kind of like how they're just sort of tucked everywhere. It's very cool. Um, I'm getting a touch of frame rate issue, so I apologize for that. Let me... I'm on fastest. Anyway, uh, all the creatures, pretty cool. I kind of want to see what he does with these other uh, areas. Welcome to the Corrupted Park. Please follow the path and enjoy. Using the um, Hidden Temple blocks. All right. Interesting. I like the theme. I wasn't really expecting Hidden Temple for the, uh, look at this though, look at this, the landscaping and stuff, very cool, very well done. Ooh la 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 la. Okay, okay. For your safety, please keep a distance from the cages to avoid poisoning. Yeah, that's fair. So you got a couple things, you've got, uh, Corrupted Pigsy. This is really cool actually, look at these, uh, I like the big columns and stuff. It's a really cool little area just to display creatures. I like the I like the thought put into this one. You know, you could easily just throw these guys down, put some fences around them, but taking time to do up the landscape, do these little themed areas. It's very cool. I didn't know there was a corrupted leafy. He looks really cool actually. I like him. Corrupted Mirus. I think there's got to be a corrupted of each creature, right? Isn't that the point? Anyway, a very cool corrupted area. In Temple Stairs. I don't actually own this block set. I like it a lot, and I feel like it's cool to do a build with. I just, uh, I don't know. It's an interesting one. Boy, the frames are bad in this place. It must be all the creatures or something. Leafy creatures. They get their own area. Welcome to Leafy Park. Oh, it's like a butterfly house. They're just everywhere. That's actually pretty cool. Ooh, look at the landscapes. The red lights. Okay, I actually really like this. I love the matted needles. I love them. This is actually really cool. I love the barred wood windows and the hay. I don't know if I've ever seen like a room constructed like this, but I love it. And the chandelier with the five chandeliers. This is really cool. <laughs> this is really cool. I want to take a picture of this. I really like the aesthetic of this room. The matted needles and the hay and the thatched wall and the barred. Yeah, I love it. I love it. I love it. I'm trying to stand still as much as possible because my frames are so jittery in this place. Um, unfortunately, I'm sitting at like 15 to 20. That's pretty rough. That's pretty rough. Arctic creatures. Oh, must be just a lot going on in this place. So Arctic creatures get their own thing as well, which is pretty cool. I imagine what the dangerous ones are behind the wall and then... Yeah, the dangerous ones that will attack you are in 
fence. The other ones are just walking around. So this is very cool. I'm going to stand still so we can appreciate it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very cool. Very cool. I apologize for this um, frame issue. I am so sorry. I will not jump or anything. Hopefully that makes it a little bit better. I think we only got one more to check out. Um, night creatures. Ooh. Hello. Night creatures. Peak stone. Peak stone. Peak stone. Peak stone. Ooh. Ooh, look at that aesthetic. The peak stone and stone combo with some of the medieval blocks. Wow, that looks sharp, doesn't it? And it even actually kind of works with, like, the bedrock. And st I love how he's been using a lot of the natural environments mixed in with man-made. It's phenomenal. The great Miru. Great Miru. <laughs> Scrub. Um, anyway, night creatures. Big columns. Yeah, he likes his big columns. Can't say I blame them. They look great. Um, this is a really cool room. This is a really cool adventure. Look at that roof, too. Ooh, that's a pretty slick-looking roof. I'm not huge on this um, spiked wood wall, medieval spike wall. But he's used it pretty well in here. He's used it a lot, but it's like works pretty well, which is cool. Um, anyway, very nice. Very nice adventure. This is actually a really cool zoo. This is one of the better ones I've seen. I've seen a few zoos. I think this is my favorite. This one's really good. Minus the, uh, the frame issues, but... Hey, man, sometimes that happens. Uh, anyway, let's just... What? Oh. I'm just going to jump up here. We'll get a, an overview. Look at this. Isn't this just cool? Wow, look at that, eh? Very cool adventure. Highly recommend checking it out if you guys are uh, looking at it. Hopefully it runs better for some of you than it did for me, but let's go check out another adventure. All right, adventure number two. Game Zone includes three games, Pixie Soccer, Tic-Tac-Toe, and Dunk Game, and a roller coaster. It's not fun to play them alone at all, but you can join and play us whenever you want in the world Construction in Progress. So Construction in Progress is a world we've been in before. It's got some really impressive builds if you guys are looking for a world to check out. Um, check them out. Also, I just wanted to uh, throw in a quick little aside here from the video. Um, sometimes I go into these worlds and they don't work really well. And that sucks. Um, you know, sometimes the frames drop a lot and stuff, and I don't like not showing those because a lot of them are really cool worlds, and to be honest, the more lay you get probably just means the more machines and, and stuff you put into working on it. So, um, I, I don't like not showing them. So I apologize if that first one was a little bit tough to watch, but uh, it was a really cool zoo. Highly recommend checking it out. Very impressive. Anyway, let's check out Game Zone. So, uh, we've got a roller coaster. We've got... Pigsy Soccer, we've got a dunk game. This looks like tic-tac-toe over here. Um, start game. Okay, so I, I think you have two people. Hmm. Uh, there must be like a way to reset this, right? Red. It's like it's Red's turn. Is that what I'm supposed to glean for what's happening right now? Hmm. I like the tic tac toe board. Maybe I'm supposed to hit it on this side. It doesn't really, <laughs> it doesn't really have instructions or anything. Uh, maybe I should check down here. Did I break something already? Welcome to game zone. Um, all right, well, let's check out the dunk game. Um, I'm sure that does work. There might just be a reset or something somewhere that I'm not seeing. Uh, let's see this dunk game. Um, ooh, we get to throw snowballs. I do love doing those. Snow farm. How to play dunk game. Okay, let's... It's a 1v1 game to play. First of all, you need to get some snowballs, right? Put them in the processor. Oh, you can process snow to get snowballs. Don't know why I didn't know that. Each player needs to climb on the platform, turn the switch on to spawn warm worm at against platform. But when both warm worms are spawned, it's time to throw snowballs to kill them as soon as possible. Oh, okay. That's kind of a cool mechanic. So, um, 
I guess these games don't really work in solo, but uh, if you go up here and you press... Spawns a warm worm. Okay, so you have two people, you spawn a warm worm down there, and then when you kill that warm worm, I guess the platform things and you get dunked. That's kind of cool. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's see. Maybe if I, uh... That's kind of cool. It's a cool mechanic. I, uh, I've used the uh, mob spawners as a timer before. If you spawn a mob and then you use a sensor, you can sense when it uh, gets killed or whatnot. I used that mechanic in a game before. That's kind of cool. It's a little dunking game, 1v1. Player entrance. So this is, uh, Pigsy Soccer. Pretty cool little stadium. Pretty cool little stadium. I can dig it. I can dig it. Use this switch to play alone. Now I can just hit him into the net and see if the score clock goes up. One. Yeah, look at that. That's pretty cool. Some cool machinery probably behind the uh, scoreboard. Uh, anyway, that's Pigsy Soccer. That's pretty neat. Let's check out this roller coaster. Check out this roller coaster. Wow, there must have been so much... Maybe it's the mobs in that other world? Don't use WASD if you don't want to get stuck in it. Um, you can enjoy your view by using your mouse. Level 2. Use the switch, set it to level 1 to go back to game zone. Alright. Nice roller coaster. Maybe it's the mobs in that last world that caused all the lag. This, I mean, this would have a lot of machines, you would think. Hello. Okay, this is a pretty cool. I like the LEDs. They had a cool effect. It feels more like a water slide when I see LEDs. I don't know why. I guess maybe I just haven't ridden a lot of those indoor roller coasters. I've had a few. I like them more than the outdoor ones, to be honest, but... Ayo! Whoa. Okay. Oh. Okay. Okay. This roller coaster is a lot bigger and cooler than I thought it would be. Oh, look at this in the corruption. Oh. Okay. I guess I have to use WASD there. And we're back. That's a pretty cool roller coaster. Um, so I go through here and I get back to the game zone. Is that what I'm hearing? Or no? That'd be kind of cool. Could dig that. And I guess it would just be one of your teleporters would just be different. This is a cool roller coaster. Hello. Oh yeah, look at that. <laughs> okay, that's cool. That's really cool. I like that. Uh, it's a pretty cool game zone. I imagine it's a lot more fun on the server, construction in progress. Um, but still, really cool. I think we've got time to check out, uh, perhaps one more adventure. Well, here we are at Mad Hatter's home. Build and share 22. Build and share competition 22, Alice in Wonderland. Um, I used to go to a bar called the Mad Hatter's. Is that why the only reason I picked this? Yes. It was a gross little bar, but I had fun. I like this wall. I guess you can turn corruption spread off, right? Or else those would take over everything. Look at that holiday decorative tree being used sporadically as like a bush. I like that. I never even... I mean, it, that thought never occurred to me. I'm learning. He's got a beautiful feast set up outdoors. A couple gingerbreads, a couple pies. Not a healthy meal, but to each their own. Um... You got some cool lanterns. I like the aesthetic of this place a lot. You got a well. You got a hat house. Uh, let's just do a little tour around the outside. The leaf on top, uh, the the fence is. Oh yeah, you can get up. It's just a little tricky. I like that look though. I don't know how they did that. Iron bars. Hmm. How do you get half an iron bar through a leaf? I don't know. It's interesting, though. Um, lovely little exterior. You know, kind of a small build, but I, I enjoy it. Let's go check out the home. 
Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, there he is. Oh, my gosh. He looks like a skeleton in that photo. That's kind of creepy. It's cool, though. You can use that. You can do that with arc signs if you guys are curious. That's a really nice little fireplace, actually. A little mantle and stuff. Bookshelves. It's a very charming little house. Very well decorated. Why is a raven like a writing desk? Why is a raven like a writing desk? I've never actually seen Alice in Wonderland. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I, I don't know anything about any of this, but it all looks very cool. We got a little bathroom back there. It all looks very cool. He's got a nice little balcony. I like the aesthetic of it. I guess he writes a lot or something. Then upstairs, he's got some more bookshelves, a nice little fireplace, a little sitting area. This is a nice bedroom, actually. Holiday music box. Yo. Very cool build. Very cool build. Um, that's a nice little build to end us off today, I think. Um, anyway, let me know what you guys think in those comments down below. I thought there was some really cool stuff today. I really like the use of blocks in that zoo. Again, I, I wish it ran a little better because it was really well done and really cool. But uh, a really cool little zoo. Really cool little Matt Hatter's house. Cool game zone. All around a good day of adventuring. Thank you guys for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Let me know what you think of those comments down below. If you got any places I should go check out. And uh, subscribe for more. Creativerse, all that jazz. I'll catch you guys later. Ciao.